Here I am with the executive producer, writer, and director of the main film tonight, Where Do All the Boogers Go, Kenny Harris and Casey Smith. Thank you all for being here. It's great Thanks. to be here. It's a lovely night. All right, so first let's get this out of the way. You all look fabulous as usual. Who are you wearing tonight? Um, well, she's wearing Carol Little, and uh, I'm wearing uh, George. Are you familiar? Um, the brand from Walmart. Oh, highly exclusive. Yes, 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 yes. I'm the only one that can get it. So this is your all's first public appearance. You were openly drunk at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. How do you feel about that incident? Well, I'm really glad there's no slime here. That last time, it took forever to get out of my hair. The big question of the night, how do you feel about Kenny Harris riding your coattails to fame? <sighs> he's, a, he's a good guy to work with. Can't, can't really complain. It's my first big major role in a movie. My only role in a movie, I should say. It's pretty fun though, it's a good experience. Hopefully I'll get more roles in the future. First question of the night, is the uh, story true of the love triangle between you two and Ryan Gosling? So, are the rumors true about the Titanic remake as you're all starring as a couple? And how do you feel about now starring on Broadway in the controversial uh, Spider-Man, you know, openly gay play? <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling something. Mr. Harris, am I allowed to look you in the eyes? Um, I'm gonna say no. Is it your spider senses tingling? Well, sure, I guess. And how do you feel being the bodyguard of the biggest star here tonight? It's amazing. It's been like a roller coaster ride. And I feel like we're at the top right now. I'm here with the Callie Matthews, winner of the past three Oscars for Best Original Screenplay. How do you feel about that honor? Oh, it's, you know, it's very humbling. It gets to the point where you just go, well, another one, but it's still, it's, it's awesome every time. And on the same subject, how do you feel about being the only one ever to win the Oscar? a Grammy, a Tony, and an Emmy all in the same year. Well, I'm Cameron Stevens and I never lose. How do you feel being named the sexiest man alive for five straight years now? I mean, you know, honestly, it's something that I expected. And is, uh, is the story true that y'all turned down roles in the new Star Wars movie because they couldn't meet your money demand? We prefer Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. And, and we love money. So as now the most in-demand executive producer in Hollywood, how do you feel being the most, you know, powerful couple in Hollywood history ever? I mean, it feels pretty damn good. And are the rumors true about you breaking up Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? I, I, I don't want to comment at, about that at this time, but yes. And uh, now since it's your uh, latest short film, how do you feel that this has broken the mold for your uh, future endeavors? You know what? It was longer. This one's 20 minutes. The last one was like six minutes so you know what With that process I'll be at Transformers the next director of Transformers you know mm -hmm. I mean I want to be the next Michael Bay that's what's important to me I want explosions I want pretty girls I want more explosions so there's that and that's what I'm working towards and uh, how do you feel about turning down the next Michael Bay project uh, Transformers 28 I think uh, it's awesome to have a partner that I can work so hard with and uh, I can uh, be so productive with. It's really awesome. And what was your latest col collaboration with uh, Prince like? The, his, the new uh, musical opera rock movie. I'll let you answer this one. <laughs> well, he beat my ass in b-ball that time, so it, it, there was a lot of bitterness. Speaking of that, how long have you known Kenny for? My whole life almost. About 20 years, maybe, something like that. You? 30 years. I mean, look at me. I'm a gorgeous piece of man meat. 
What are you going to do with this? Finally, we think about Kenny Hare selling out. Oh, you know, I'm happy for him, actually. I, uh, I, I, I never knew him before this, but just when I heard his name, I thought sell out. That's mm -hmm. what first came to me, and uh, I'm not surprised. And with the box office uh, you know, expectations being through the roof, is it true that you all plan on donating all the, all the earnings to charity? No. And finally, how do you feel about uh, Crosshatch Production uh, breaking the $1 billion uh, maker, money maker? Fantastic. I am so excited. And how much money are you seeing from that? Nothing. And how do you feel working with the sexiest man alive for five years, you know, as a cinematographer, getting all these beautiful shots, you know, with all of this God-given talent? I mean, you just saw how great he was, so That's just true. imagine that all day. And uh, those times he has gotten drunk in the leaked photos of him naked running around set, what were those experiences like? I shot those. I shot those, and it was enjoyable every single time. Every day. And how do you feel about Kenny Harris trying to work with you, but you refusing to do his next project? Kenny Harris, God, let me tell you about Kenny. Okay, first of all, that guy can't do anything. He can't hold a camera. He doesn't really know what the red button means. It's record, Kenny. And how do you feel about, you know, the overall success of uh, your movie? Your, like I said, Kenny, he's finally making it big thanks to you. Um, I'm glad I can share this experience with him. We've been best friends forever. It's been a great ride. I want nothing to do with him. And at that time, how much has he changed, you know, since his drug addiction, his heroin overdose? It's been like a roller coaster ride. I feel like he's he's been at the bottom. He's working his way back up to the top, though. All right. Thank you all and have a good night. You too. Well, thank you all and enjoy the night. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for you having us. It. Thank you all for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you and enjoy the premiere. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Thank you and enjoy the premiere. You too! All right, and with all the stiff competition tonight, what do you have to say to all the other films here? Um, I'm going to say that mine's the best, and mine's going to win without a doubt. Uh, hands down, um, I've got the best film, and you can just suck it. So, John Brown, you look a little toasted, pal. Um, I just have a question for you. What's it like uh, being, uh, being the celebrity journalist that you are? It's got to be a tough road, man. Tell us a little about being a celeb. No appreciation. I go to all these parties. I get all the, all the, this I want. You know, they're taking my pictures. I'm like, no, don't take my picture. Then they never take your picture. I'm like, shut up. Why did Why did you punch someone all who right, was so loved in the it face? It was me and Ben before Ben and whoever is ugly faces. Matt, Matt Damon. Yes, I mean. We knew each other before, you know, the whole, you know, Goodwill hunting, and then, you know, they win an Oscar, you know, they start. And, you know, it's just like nothing happened between us. Hey, dude, go, go out there. Dude, sit down. Please sit down. You're making a fool of yourself. You're making a fool.